Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we're gonna be doing that $500 pack opening. Now, I'm gonna let you guys know right now, I set a like goal on Saturday morning's video and I said 5,555 likes and I would do a $500 pack opening. Now, I'm recording this video Saturday night because I have to in order to get up on Sunday for you guys, but it's currently 8 p.m. and that video has about 4,500 likes. So if it's not already at 5,555, which I think it probably will be, if it's not, make sure you guys go and check that video out, drop a like on it, and absolutely destroy the like button on this video. Let's aim for 3,101, 3,111. Sound good? I do want to give a shout out to Cade Schuler for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the vid. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, to the notification bell on, and comment down below, Nota Gang. And in general, guys, just thank you so much for all the support. You guys have been incredible. But we are doing a $500 pack opening because I told you guys I would. However, these packs are really, really bad. I've seen a lot of pack openings. I've done a lot of these packs, and they've not been good for me. Dom did a $1,000 pack opening, which I definitely recommend you check his video out as well because he did a $1,000 pack opening. And he got some good pulls, but they're not like as juiced up as, you know, ultimate legend packs are, especially for the first week. Now, we do have Series 5 coming out next week, but yeah, we're still going to do it. Hopefully, my packs are uh, decent. So here we have it. You guys can see we have 25 toppers and 45 ultimate legend packs. $500 pack opening, 10 Ultimate Legends in packs, and also two LTDs. Let's get into it. Now, I'm just going to say this right now. If we don't end up pulling at least two, can I say can I say two? Is that fair to say two at least? Uh, let's get down to an overall right there. If we don't pull at least two full Ultimate Legends, okay, out of 45 packs, and then the toppers, as I mean, you can tell instantly, basically, if you're gonna get something good, because the the bigger animation has a bigger animation, like has rings and stuff around it. So you'll instantly know. I know that's not gonna be a good one. Roy Williams, 85, we're all right there, though. We do get an 83. If we don't pull at least two, these packs shall never be touched again. Okay. Don't ever touch these packs. Like this would be pathetic as an 87 overall Brian Dawkins right there. Also, two team of the week pulls as well. So I guess we'll. We'll take it. 84 overall. Now, man, I gotta say, I've seen a lot of pack openings today, and I don't think that I've actually seen anyone. I have gotten tweets, but like, I personally have not seen a bundle opening that I would say that is a really, really good bundle. Like, I just, I just haven't seen one today. So, I'm really hoping that my pack look is good. 39 packs remaining though, and I mean, like, could you imagine if I did this bundle here and I just got nothing but. 87 and 91s like if we don't even get like a 95 overall i might not open another bundle the rest of the year like that's how bad that would be 91 overall randall cunningham right there though and we get an 84 overall junior say now i'm hoping that a couple of these packs we can get lucky and maybe pull like a double ultimate legend that'd be kind of cool or you know actually get a good pull as you get an 87 overall harry carson right there now a 9 win overall B-Dog, okay. Uh, I do expect these packs to be better next week. I really do. And then they're going to be better next week. We do have the new series update coming. And we all know that this series update was just not good in general. Like, for pack odds. Like, the pack odds. As, there we go. Double Ultimate Legend. And it's actually two 9 win overalls. But the pack odd increase with Series 4? Yeah. I don't know about that one. Uh, we get 87 overall Joe Thomas, though. As well as a 9 win overall Namdi right there. Yeah, I don't I don't know about that pack increase. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really notice it, and I don't think many people noticed it at all as you get another 91 overall right there. So series five, it's gotta be better. The pack out's gotta be better. And also these ultimate legend packs, he's gotta get juiced up a little bit, man. But we get a 91 overall B Dog right there. So so far, all 87s and 91 overalls. 86 Harrison Smith. I mean, like, you get you get a decent amount of other elites here. That's an 87 overall. But if you guys notice this, because I have I said it in this morning's video or Saturday morning's video, uh, that I can kind of tell already when you open it, like right here, right there. I see it, 91 overall wide receiver. 
I can see like the the uh, as you can name it overall Brandon Williams. I can see the overall and also the position behind the second flip. So I can already tell what I'm gonna get before the animation even plays out. As this pack, we're gonna get an anime overall right it's a linebacker. Not even overall, right? It's a linebacker right there. So we are already down to 28 Ultimate Legend packs. 28, man. So far, nothing higher than a 91 overall. As, I mean, we're getting like, you know, three, four elites a pack, which is cool. You know, that, that's really sweet to have all these extra 80 overalls, I guess. Uh, extra training points, whatever. Another 91 overall right there. But can I get a 95? Like, at least 87 overall Corey Dillon right there. Like, if you happen to pull a full Ultimate Legend or a 95 overall UL, man, you're, oh, here we go. Here we go. Big one. 95 Corey Dillon. Okay, so that is my first big pull. That's the first time I've ever seen that animation right there. We get a 95 overall Corey Dillon. The rest of the pack, of course, is all gold. But 95 Corey Dillon, I think he's like 150K. I think he's like around that price range. So, all right. We got, we got our first big one, Redux, A86. Yeah, no, no surprise there. 86 overall, Evan Ingram, and another 91 overall, 90. So keep the counter. We're at we're at one big pull so far. Uh, 87 overall, Frederick, and an 86 overall, Barry Sanders. Cool. Ex nice little uh, extra elite right there. Another big one. Is it 97? No, it's a 95. 95 Namdi Asimwa. Okay. So at least we're, you know, we're, we're getting up there. We're actually getting so far... Two decent pulls. Two, two decent pulls so far. We have a Namdi and we have the Corey Dillon. And a 91 overall Steve Hutchinson right here. Man, I'm going to have so many 91s and 87 overalls to sell. I hope they bring like some sort of exchange set. Uh, 87 B-Doc right there. Jamal Adams. And I, I don't know why I was kind of expecting a double Ultimate Legend pack right there. Didn't get one though. Uh, 89 and an 85. What are, what are the odds of that? 89 and 85 Jack Youngblood there? Come on. Big pull. Nope, not a big one, 91. So we only have 18 Ultimate Legend packs remaining, man. Only 18 packs, again, 87 overall, Minjo right there, Russell Wilson, Dak Prescott. All right, so far, it, it's okay, right? Because we got the two 95s, but the fact that getting two 95s is good for these packs, whoo, that, that, that says something, man. 82, 83 overall, I kind of want to do a topper, just to throw it off, you know what I mean? But I wanna I wanna save all the toppers for them. We'll save the toppers since we have 25 of those bad boys. I wanna save those. We get an 83. Come on. No. 91 overall again. Harry Carson. I mean, I can basically do every ultimate legend though. Let's, I have all their 91s in uh the 87. Just gonna have to buy a 95 for all of them, I guess. As we get a ring and 95 Namdi. Alright. I'll take it. Another 95 overall right there. Now, I don't exactly know how much, like, the 95 overalls are actually going for, but I know, like, 95 overall Randall Cunningham, because I did do a set. I think he's, like, a halfback, pretty sure, as well. He's, like, right now, I want to say, like, 700K. So, if we can pull that, that'd be big. Like, we may actually make a decent amount of coins off this pack owning here, as long as we pull some of the more expensive 95 overall players we don't happen to get lucky enough to get 97 as we don't get one here 87 overall a dailyus thomas by the way i do already have a gameplay up on the channel with isaac bruce and also with randall cunningham which we get elvis doomerville no rings 91 overall steve hutchinson oh well, redux to start of this pack okay 91 zach martin and rings 97 97 97 95 95 steve hutchinson all right so they give me a left guard and a right guard in the same exact pack. But that only gets Steve Hutchinson set done. I actually, uh, spoiler, I picked up Travis Frederick. And if, I mean, of course, I, I had to pick up Frederick. He's on the squad. Uh, so we already have him on the team. Maybe we'll get Hutchinson. I mean, he's basically end game at this point. Like these offensive linemen that are dropping with Ultimate Legends, you pick him up. You don't really need to upgrade for the rest of the year. Not a big one here. 87 Adelius. Next UL pack. We don't, I don't think we really have that many packs left right give me another elite 83 overall cam six packs left six packs left and we don't have a single full ul pull six packs if i spend 500 dollars, okay this is a 500 dollars pack only if i spend 500 dollars as get a 90 overall bo jackson there and i don't get a single full ultimate legend ea bro bro no 
87 overall, Frederick, 92. Nick Fairley right there. Okay. I mean, it's been a long time to put a full camp zero. All right. We get an 80 overall here. No, nope. 91 overall Namdi again, and an 89 overall Rich Gannon. I think the 91s right now, depending on the player, are like 20k plus. So it just depends on which players you get. Like some of them are only like 30,000 coins. I think the Cunningham right now is like 35k each. We get 85 Steve, 87 overall Isaac Bruce, and we actually get two ULs, both 87s. Both 87s. Final Ultimate Legend pack. Yeah, I just went through 45 packs that quick. And we didn't get a single 97, right? Not a single 97. Not a single one. All right, so now we have got the 25 toppers. Yeah, 45 packs, guys. We just we just ran through the 45 packs that quick. And now all we have is the toppers. And I'm gonna, I already know. It's, it's not a big one, 91 overall right there. I guess I can just skip through the animations here if they're not a big one, because it doesn't really matter what we got. We got a 91 overall Adelius Thomas right there. Not a big one. Again, it's a 91 overall. That one's going to be Isaac Bruce. Give me at least a 90, like a 95. Can I get at least a 95 overall Randall Cunningham? If you're not going to give me a 97, just one 95. Just one 95 Randall Cunningham is all I want since he's basically the same price and, and more expensive actually than some of these 97 overalls here. 91 daily is Thomas right here. Come on, man. These, these packs are pathetic at this point. We get 87 overall. Corey Dillon right there. 25 of these toppers. 25, man. We'll, we'll see if we get lucky enough. 87 overall Mean Joe Green right there. And I really hope that they actually change these packs. I hope they make them fantasy. Or maybe they're waiting. And next week, they'll come out with, I guess, number one, better pack odds. But number two, hopefully, they actually drop Ultimate Legend fantasy packs. Because a UL fantasy pack is a lot more fun. Like, Ultimate Legend packs are okay. I mean, the packs are bad. But a concept of just, like, the normal pack is... It's whatever. But, like, in Ultimate Legend Fantasy, even if it is more expensive, it's more exciting. I feel like it's definitely more exciting as you get a 91 overall Steve Hutchinson right there. We've already opened up at least, like, 10 of these packs, right? At least 10. 87 overall middle linebacker. And we have 10 packs remaining. We did 15. 10 packs remaining. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. If I, I'm seriously, I might be, I might be a little mad. Like, honestly, I might be a little bit mad. I, I feel a little bit, a little bit upset here. If we don't get 197 out of $500 spent here. 87 overall middle linebacker, Harry Carson. Okay. Not a big animation. It's a 91 overall Frederick. I can already tell. And we only have six packs remaining. Yeah. Six packs remaining here. We get an 87 overall Minjo. I'll just tell you guys that one because I didn't want to sit the animation for an 87. We get a 91 overall here, Steve Hutchinson. Next pack, not even a ring. 20, if I do 25 toppers, if I do 25 toppers and I don't get one ring, EA, I hope you're watching this video. I hope you're watching this and you can just see the disgustingness. Oh, we get a ring and it's a 97. Brian Dawkins, we finally got one. It took us all the way to one pack remaining. On the second to last pack, we got a 97 overall. $500 spent, one 97. All right, so let's take a look here. And I'm gonna be honest here. I haven't really like taken a look at the market to see what these 95s and everything are going for. I don't think they're going for crazy. Maybe Namdi is, because he's probably a decent price, but b Doc is 600,000 coins. Pretty solid, but it still just goes to show how bad these packs are that I did $500 worth of these packs, guys. We pulled 495s. <laughs> That's how bad they are. Uh, 185K. Yikes. I really hope Namdi is more than that, and Corey Dillon, 135 I hope Nomdi's like a couple hundred thousand. I think he's at least like, what, 350 maybe? What is he? 470. Dang. Okay, so there's basically a million coins between Nomdi and Brian Dawkins. Between two Nomdis and B Dawk, we're at like 1.5. We easily made about like 3 million coins. But it just goes to show you how bad these packs are, guys, that I literally had to spend $500 pulling 97. The second to last pack is where we got the 97 overall. Thankfully, we pulled two good 95s in Namdi, and then the rest of the packs, not so good. So with that being said, guys, I hope you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to drop a like on the video, and of course, hit that sub button down below. 
They better increase the pack odds. Like, they better increase the pack odds on these heavily. Or I may not do another bundle for a very long time on these UL packs. Because these are bad. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys next time.